thought I'd film refilling a Disney snow globe for anyone who needs to refill their own. What you're gonna need for this is a hot glue gun with hot glue sticks. You'll need something to clean the inside of your snow globe with uh, if you can't reach your hand in there. You'll need needle nose pliers, flathead screwdriver, and possibly a Phillips. Now the super glue you may not need, but it's good to have it there just in case you break off any pieces. Oh, and a rag. Okay, first things first. I got this at a thrift store, so you never know you never know what you're gonna get when you open it. So just make sure you're prepared for anything. So this one, I don't know if it just all the water leaked out. I don't know if they tried to repair it before. Um, and I always recommend that you go to a Goodwill or a Savers and pick yourself up just one of those cheap snow globes that they always have, like a Christmas snow globe or something like that so that you can practice. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna take your towel, your rag, and you're gonna wanna make it so there's like a hole in the middle right where the sink is. I always do it in the sink because there's that hole. And then I wanna pad around it just to take the pressure off of the glass. And I especially make a deeper hole if you have um, another snow globe that's like got, sometimes they have stuff on the top. Okay, so keep in mind too, if the glass does break, which we, you know, I've done this many, many times and I have had times where the glass breaks, there are other things you can do. So if it does break, God forbid, um, go to the end of the video and I'll show you what I did with one that broke. We're gonna try not to undo the screws this time. Okay, so I'm gonna take the thinnest screwdriver, or thinnest uh, flathead that I have and just kind of pry up on the edges. You're gonna come across probably, depending upon how glued down it was or how old the glue is or how much glue they used, um, it'll be easier or it'll be harder. The second time you do this, it'll be easier. You know, if you have to just refill it or something like that, it'll usually be easier the second time you do it because you're just gonna use hot glue. Okay, be careful, you don't wanna snap anything. Usually in here there is rubber cement, which is disgusting. I hate that they use rubber cement, but I guess it works. Now, sometimes you will have this music box attached and it will be coming through here. Um, you can unscrew it. Uh, I actually just got a tip from someone that commented on my other video. It says you can actually unscrew it and then pull it out that way just by twisting it the opposite way. It's not supposed to twist. But in this case, we don't need to do that. Here we go. Oh, wow. See what I said? You never know what you're gonna get. Okay, wow. All right, what we're gonna try to do, oh my God, is we're gonna put vinegar on that. Holy, I have never seen one like that before, but every time I do this, there's something new that surprises me, I swear. Okay, now this is the rubber cement I was talking about that is terrible. It's so hard to, if it's smushed in there real bad, you might need an exacto knife, um, but we're just going to try to pry it away from the edges. See if we can just do it that way. Also be careful because some of these, if they're so old, um, some of these will crack with the rubber uh, plug right there when you're trying to open it. Sometimes that'll happen. See, look at that. Gross. It's gross, it's sticky. But look, okay, so it's not being too bad though. I've seen it worse and I've seen it easier. You never, literally never know what you're gonna get when you try to pop one of these things open. Okay, so we wanna be super careful because Obviously we don't want to break her in here, but that's why we have the super glue in case an arm pops off or something and we have to glue it back on. But I try to be as gentle as I can, but honestly, it doesn't matter how gentle I try to be. I just do not have that 
that grease. <laughs> okay, so now that we've like pretty much peeled all the glue and like separated it, now we can take our needle nose pliers. I have two pairs um, just because I got one from the dollar store and my husband was like, no, you need to use a nicer pair. <laughs> um, and they are nicer, they're much nicer. Um, when you invest in them, but the dollar store ones work. I've used them, they work. And sometimes if this is really stuck in, this plug is really stuck in, then I'll have to just, I'll have to have literally a screwdriver in there and I'll have to have like be pulling on one end and have I'll, sometimes I'll have multiple screwdrivers in there just trying to, and just slowly wedge it out. Be careful, be slow, take your time, make sure that you plan out a couple hours to do this. This one looks like it's gonna be easy, but just make sure you have the time and you're not rushing through it. See, it's almost out. I'm gonna take my second pair of pliers and just kind of help bend it because it like is getting caught on itself. This is where you gotta be really gentle and I'm usually even though I say it, I'm not usually that gentle. Okay. It's coming up more and more. Oh, I think we might do this without breaking anything. Beautiful, okay. So we have got her out now. Looks like uh, she's got a little bit of discoloration. We'll get her cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna set that to the side. Take everything out of here. And let's rinse it out. We're just gonna leave now. What I recommend as well, if you wanna keep the glitter that's in there, usually they have glitter. Craft store glitter for some reason does not work as well. So. Okay, so you're gonna take a plastic cup, uh, one that you're not gonna be drinking out of. Make sure you're not gonna drink out of it because we, we don't know. Sometimes it's water in here, sometimes they have some other type of chemical in here. But um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna fill it up with water, all right? And you're gonna dump it in here with all the glitter. And you're just gonna let that glitter settle. So right now, all the glitter is just shaking around in there. We're gonna let it settle to the bottom. And then you're gonna pour it out little by little, and then you're gonna rinse it again, rinse it again. And while that happens, okay. So I'm currently out of Q-tips, so I'm gonna try it this way. Uh, this might be a lost cause. But let's see. I love my husband. Look at this. Yeah. It's just like completely, I don't know. It's like, oh. It's all, like oxidized or whatever. Yeah, look, I cleaned it right there, but like right there. It's yeah. So weird. It's been sitting underwater forever. Yeah. Yeah. Since the glitter settled to the bottom, we're just gonna pour out the excess water and then refill it again so that um, we're just cleaning it out. I'm just gonna use a gentle brush, see if we can get her bottom cleaned up a little bit. You want to be super careful because these can break off. That had happened before. Okay, she is fine for now. So here is where we are with the music box. I have got it just chilling in some vinegar. 
Um, I don't know if this thing will ever play again, but it won't even twist. So I figure if it's not playing now, might as well do everything I can to get it to working again. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. This one I got at the thrift and I, it just looks like it was soaking in water or something, like the whole bottom half. I do not understand how that happened. All right, let's take a look, see what we got. The outside all looks good. I'm just worried about the music part. Okay, so most of this, all of the um, glitter is settled down to the bottom, so we're just gonna pour out all the water on top as much as we can. Most of the glitter should stay on the bottom as much as we can. Okay, that's about good. I recommend using distilled water. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Okay, not much, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get this all prepared again. pour this glitter water in there. So we wanted to save as much as we could of the original glitter. There's still glitter in the bottom. So we're gonna put a little bit more distilled water. Kind of shake it up. Because this time you do want the glitter to go with the water. You don't want it to settle. Okay. So you're gonna fill it up. You might have some overflow, which is good. You, you actually probably want some overflow. So, cause when you put this in here, you're gonna push it down in and the water is gonna, you basically wanna fill it as much as you can. You don't really want any bubbles. If you got a little bubble, that's fine. But we're gonna fill it a little bit more. Okay, that's about good. So we're gonna take her we're gonna make sure you check which way she's supposed to face because I've done that before where it's like, no, now you're gonna take her out and put her back in. Make sure you check the water. Make sure you didn't get any weird floaties or hairs in there that you don't want. Because I've done that too. <laughs> and you have to pull it out and do it again. Okay, so we want her facing probably where the mice are. So out here. All right, so we've got her facing the way that we want. She's kind of poking out right there. And we're gonna gently start putting it in there just like we took it out, just piece by piece, side by side. Now you see water is gonna come. So can you see that? See how water's just kind of coming in? You don't wanna push too hard because it's all of a sudden just gonna whoop, suck it in there. sides. Let a little bit of that water out. I'm going to pull back this side, get that in there. Okay, now you don't want to push it in too deep. I'm going to make sure it kind of lines up with the glass. All right. We've got her in there. We don't want to push her too much. Make sure you check too. Here, let's pour some of this out. I'll pour it over here. Pour some of it out. If you got a little leakage, that's okay right now. So we probably want her maybe to come up a little bit more. We want to be careful because we don't want to push her up too much. You don't want to see much of the bottom in there. Okay, let's see. sucked in because that will happen and I need to pull the whole thing out try again okay so now that we've got that in there what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our hot gun hot glue gun heat it up 
Now, while that's heating up, since the inside is wet, we dumped it out. We dumped out the excess water. We're gonna wanna try to dry it as best we can, very carefully. It's okay if it's a little damp, it's fine. You just don't want the big bulk water in there. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna glue all of the seams, kind of flatten that hot glue down. Get it all around anywhere where water might just seep out. Make sure you have extra hot glue sticks because you will need them. We're gonna cover this thing and don't worry about like someday in the future when you have to do a refill, you know, someday years, years go by and you need to do a refill, you can easily take the hot glue off. That's what's really nice about it. Hot glue will just peel right off. Any little areas where you see that there's a crack or any weak areas, you want to just make sure to get it in there just in case. Which we should be good with the plunger, but you never know. Okay, beautiful. It doesn't look pretty, but that's okay. I managed to get it pretty cleaned up. And if you move your finger on it, it will work. However, it just doesn't work anymore. What you wanna do is put some hot glue just on the edges. You don't need to go crazy with it. You're just trying to secure it. A couple pieces of hot glue. Okay, and then you're gonna press it in. Don't be too hard on the glass. Remember, there's still glass on the bottom. All right, and there you have it. Here we go. Here is the final product. Nothing broke, still has glitter. Turned out perfect except for the music box, which let's be honest, how often do we actually spin the music box? If you want to, you can check out the video where I'm just about to do this one right now. It's your favorite snow globe. You love it so much, but there's just, there's something wrong with it. Whether the water is low, the dirty water, something's wrong with it. So you do your best, you pop it open, what happens? It breaks. I've had this happen to a few different snow globes and I'll show you what I did. So over here was the first one that I tried to fix. Um, it was this Love's First Kiss. It, this thing was so old and so dirty and like the paint was bad um, and they, they were just, Mickey and Minnie were just literally floating around in there. They had broken off, they were floating around. So what I did is I actually broke the globe myself. Now this is the first one that I did. So this is, I repainted it and everything obviously. You're not gonna do that with yours. And it, it didn't turn out great, I'll be completely honest. Um, it is what it is though. It was my first try. What I did here was um, I broke off all the glass and then I took hot glue and um, made this is literally just I hot glued hot glued Mickey and Minnie back on their spot covered all the glass um and then I took some some epoxy sculpt or some clay which you don't even have to take some clay you can just use the paint over the hot glue if you want and I don't know how well that I think this is epoxy sculpt yeah it is um paint over it so this is the one I'm pretty proud of because I was very upset about this one I love this one so much. Um, the Evil Queen was inside of the glass, uh, the snow globe, and I was just, it was just, I think it was, the water was dirty, I think that's what it was, and it was filthy, and I was like, how am I gonna do this? So, I put him upside down, I put him in there, and it was so old and cracking. Sorry, it's really dusty. It was so old and cracking that the glass actually broke, um, by where the plug was. So that was a nightmare. 
I tried to find glass to replace it. Um, and I bought some of that uh, plastic stuff that looks like a snow globe. That they said is for, uh, that's on Amazon, that's for replacing your snow globe glass. But there's an ugly seam in it. It just looks terrible. And then I was thinking if I do actually invest and get the glass, then I'm gonna have to break his hands off to get him in here. So what I did instead is I um, broke all the rest of the glass off, got it all out of there. This is this thing is so dusty. I need to dust it bad. Um, and then I I put down some epoxy sculpt, some clay basically, and just stuck her down in there and painted it. Just painted the bottom, and so it doesn't look bad. So, worst comes to worst, if your snow globe glass breaks, you can always try to replace it. In this case, it would have been very difficult. In this case, I might have been able to do it. Um, but you can always do something like this, or you can get the glass um, and, and try to do it yourself with, on Amazon. You can get, there's, I would say for real glass, and it's hard to get the right fit. Um, for real glass, I would go to somewhere like Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby to try to find actual glass that's gonna fit and I would maybe bring the snow globe with you. But as far as um, uh, the plastic ones, I really don't recommend using them because they actually have a seam going through the whole glass and it just looks terrible. But if anything happens, worse come to worse, so you can have something like this and it just looks like a statue. Almost doesn't look like glass is supposed to be there at all. So don't worry, there's always things you can do.